If it's not me, another designated homosexual will be here to check on you. <laughs> Last week on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Lisa visited her dead brother's grave for the very first time. I visited the grave site, finally. How was that? Was that hard? It was. I think I've been running. Why are you saying that? It's just the realness. It's like in your face, and you have to deal with it. Lisa, you do not have to deal with the realness. Bring on the gay! Look who it is! Oh, I love I've been running this Enjoy jokes. Let's face it, nothing turns tragedy into comedy like gayness. It's what we call in the entertainment world the gay ex machina. In times of great personal need, there are gay men who exist in TV and film whose purpose it is to fix stuff for straight people. Problem too tough for Ari? Lloyd sweeps in to save the day. Does Jack Donaghy need protection? Jonathan's there. The Fab Five knew this all too well. Every single week for four years, just when single men were at their lowest, messiest point, the men on Queer Eye would fly in to save the day. Well, hello! If it's not me, another designated homosexual will be here to check on you. <laughs> we will never leave you alone. And when things get a little tense, the gay ex machina even comes with his own set of tools to help you in your darkest and ugliest hour. I am a monster. A little cover up and some hemorrhoid cream for the swelling. You're good to go. Of course we have butt cream for your eyes. Yup, sometimes a gay who saves has to think fast and on the spot. A very stressed out Rachel Zoe has been waiting nine hours, you guys, for a Chanel gown. And she can't even deal anymore. Gay Brad, you better have a pot of gold up your ass. What's taking so long? I mean, there's a nine hour time difference, but like, am I gonna have to wait till tomorrow morning? Who am I? Ugh, who cares? <laughs> who cares about the Chanel dress? Ugh, <laughs> Rachel, just like, seriously, they'll either email or not. And that works all the time. I just can't believe my whole family just died. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! You're a free woman, honey. You don't need that man. You don't need those kids. We're going out tonight. Woo! Any self-respecting gay ex machina has one go-to trick up his sleeve. Dancing. When Delia was stood up by Brian Krakow on My So-Called Life, Ricky danced. When Julia Roberts loses the love of her life in My Best Friend's Wedding, Gangel Rupert Everett dances. And when the housewives couldn't quit their cat fighting, Dwight danced. Summertime. Oh, no. oh, Lord. They're going to be easy. <laughs> Go away! <laughs> so remember, America, we gays know tragedy. Before we came out, we had to eat pussy. We can laugh our way out of anything. That's gay. For more, Brian, check out Infomania's half-hour show, Thursdays at 10 on Current TV.